Oh, that's right, baby. J Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people. Champ. Oh, to do another uh, try not to laugh challenge. This one, J Rock gonna do a try not to laugh or grin challenge to none other than that hilarious brother, Justin Whitehead. Can Justin Whitehead break the great one? Man, cover that shit up. Don't nobody want to see that. And then with your goddamn leg hiced up on that fucking tub like that. Man, come on now. Cover that shit up, too. Highway. Highway. J Rock. J -Rock. Hands come back. Hands come back. To What is happening in in and in with the mill yuns? And millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here. Man, we're about to do a try not to laugh or grin. J-Rock ain't ever done a try not to grin challenge. He's done plenty of try not to laugh challenges that are up right now on the Great Ones channel to none other than Justin Whitehead. This will be the first J-Rock's try not to laugh or grin challenge and we're gonna see if justin whitehead can break the great one you join in you know the rules if you break you got a time stamp where you lost and why you also got to share this video on one of your social media platforms facebook youtube instagram or it doesn't matter to j rock to top no rhyme and pin it on that line baby and j rock says this if you make it and don't break j rock says you got to type that the smack was laid down all right make sure you also lay the smack down on that subscribe button all right hit that super thanks button for me as well hit that like button for me if you're enjoying the content but we're not gonna waste no more time baby j-rock says this justin whitehead just right. so when i walk it gets in the way and i can only move at a glacial pace have you ever seen a female walk where they they walk side to side that's what i feel like when i walk well, I'm glad you damn knew it. On a good day, I can walk maybe 50 feet and then I have to rest. On a bad day, just the physical act of carrying all the weight on my stomach. Wow, my lymphedema is tugging. This is the first goddamn the thing he did. That is so intense, I want to pass out. I remember growing up, you always saw these commercials of those old people that are like, Help, I'm falling, I can't get up. And you always laugh at it and you think, oh, ha ha, how funny. Oh, God damn, now come on. Blow the fucking front out, too. I be God damn. Man, they can kick that fucking door down on that shit you live in. Man, cover that shit up. Don't nobody want to see that. And then with your goddamn leg hiced up on that fucking tub like that. Man, come on now. Cover that shit up, too. Smell me, goddammit. Would you look at that shit there? All the nooks and crannies. All the nooks and crannies. What in the fuck is he in there scrubbing with? I swear to God, I want to know who in the fuck in charge of the damn blur. Because this little damn strip ain't no fucking no. Wait, man, you just gonna walk your naked ass out there in front of and sick the crack of your ass on that damn thing, and you ain't touch your back, your ass, or nothing. I ain't ran that brush through the crack of his ass now, fucking time. And look, what you look. <laughs> I know damn. <laughs> 
You ain't sending out no goddamn fan air dryer. And oh my, the thought of eating. What the fuck did he just say to me? I wish the fuck I would come in that kitchen to catch you wrap back in that damn chair, letting that fucking fan dry your fat ass off. Now that ain't no goddamn breakfast. And now damn country is that fucking breakfast. Look at him. Look, 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 look. look, look. I just be goddamn. Look at that shit. I don't see the comments. That's what I was missing. I was like, something different. That's enough of them goddamn raps now, Wiz. Whatever the fuck that is. How many more you gonna unfucking follow that, man? That better be the last damn one. Because who in the fuck can sit there and eat out? Look at that goddamn amount. I do what I need to do to be comfortable. Now that's a goddamn shame. And you gonna prop the shit up right down your fucking fat ass belly. It's like I like to eat them so much that when I've been chewing, I cram it in and I get this high off of it. No. It's just like, it's like full of, I don't know how to describe it. I want another damn thought. thought. Listen at this shit. shit. And he's sitting there just letting the damn wind blowing his ass like he'd be on the fucking concert. I don't give a god damn. Shit, damn problem now. Don't fucking talk me to death about nothing. Give a damn how much your daddy did. This story about your fat ass. Look, 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 look. Y'all got the nerve to blur that shit out. We don't want to see that part or nothing else. Hell. I discovered how to party. And, uh, Look, that's a crying goddamn shame. Shut the damn door. Close the fucking door. Have some fucking privacy. Some damn decency, man. He lives alone? I just fell into this rut. I was not accomplishing anything. So I left him in town to take an office job. Hold up and put them damn britches on. Get to the next and damn part of the fucking show. That's what all them goddamn sandwich uh, breakfast fucking wraps get your ass. I, so, I, I don't get how people can get that big. Wash it down with two sodas. I don't. I don't get it. In one sitting, it was not a good time. Now. You know, I was already teetering with depression from my weight and everything, and so the stress just got to be a lot. I lost my job, lost my apartment, lost my car, had to move in with my parents. And your ass still eating out if you done lost all that? You done lost everything but some goddamn weight. Kind of had a little bit of a nervous breakdown, if you want to say that. That's your damn fault. And look, and go climb right back in the goddamn bed. My size in our little town, I would still love everything. And then high-speed internet came to town. And finally... After several months, I found a job working from home. And I did that job, and uh, that gave me the funds to be able to pay rent to live on my own. Now, who in the fuck is this? You your damn daddy coming here. I bet he finna haul your big ass somewhere to get something else to damn eat. Watch this. Because where else you go? I knew it. Fucking groceries. I fucking knew it. Where else you damn going? You lost your goddamn job and everything else. And I know you ain't got no fucking friends. And I know this shithole here don't sell nothing but fucking pick fire meat. So goddamn country ass fucking gas station you going to shop in. And you wouldn't come out the damn house with me looking like that. And what kind of fucking grocery store got a damn dough like that? That's how I know you finna go in there and get a bunch of those stankin' ass meat that you can't even damn freeze. Yeah. No, you won't. If you can't get your fat ass through this door and get that meat, you won't get it. You won't get it at all. 
this and lean forward, go down. Look at it. You're damn right you're done. You wouldn't fucking go nowhere with me. I'd be damned if I do your fucking shopping for you. That's a crying shame, bro. No goddamn Uber and Instacart. I'm going to be as long as I fucking need to be. What? Because your ass ain't had the damn go. God damn, uh, the, the fucking golf. Call my damn cell phone asking me for, and, and how long I'm gonna damn be. I start a fucking conversation right there at the damn register. It is my drug of choice. Food must euphoric for me. Mitigated, god damn. Uh, uh, I know it, I know that damn Hyundai catching hell. What was that? Y'all the y'all the damn be. You damn should be. You goddamn blog. You ought to be a goddamn shame of yourself. Good. I know that bitch catching hell. They put a poster in them damn trucks. Good. You know what? That's it. Sit there and wallow in that for a minute. Thank you. And daddy, you ain't making him no goddamn better to feed him that bullshit. Let him know he's a damn... Nothing. Now get the fuck out. Don't you get your ass back in here no damn more. I need Justin Whitehead on these. On just one episode. You need your ass whooped too, Pop. Just one episode. Security blanket. I use it as a reward, and I eat so much, and I cram it in, but I usually don't stop until the food is gone. I know it. I can tell. Now, who in the fuck put that pot right there? That's how I know the damn camera folk be sitting. You ain't happy. You get your country ass out of there, because you, you could have got his ass some healthy shit in there. Now, none of that shit came from the goddamn grocery store. Where in the fuck that come from? That's the damn... Come on, dog. Come on, bro. You're damn right you have. You're sitting there eating that goddamn poor pork shit. You ain't even, you could have cooked some of the damn shit your dad bought back from the fucking grocery store. You want me to sit here and believe you want to damn do better for yourself? Bitch. If you got the damn turn the cup to that side and do all that, ain't end up in the damn cup. Oh yeah, that's it. Drink vitamin water. I wish that damn cheat would holler enough to burn his damn lip. Smack was laid down. That was.
J-Rock means if, excuse me, you made it through without breaking, then you got to type below that the smack was laid down. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this. Yes. Video, no rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. Here is my J Rock. He's cooking.